Hey guys, so we're coming to the end of the year. Today is Friday, December 23rd. I kind of feel like doing some decluttering before the new year so that we have a fresh start. So I want to bring you along with me. I want to share with you some decluttering tips and ideas in different areas of the house. If you're also thinking about decluttering, come along with me and we can do it together. I always start decluttering from my room. This is where I spend most of my time here during the day. My home office is also here. My kids also spend a lot of time in my room because we have a master bathroom here and they usually use our master bathroom for showers and stuff. So this is a very high traffic area. It really affects my mood when it's cluttered in this area. There's really no order in terms of where you start decluttering. Just find a place to start. At the beginning, it may feel a little bit awkward. You may take a little bit time to get to that momentum, but don't be afraid. Just start little by little. I actually want to declutter some of these skincare products that I have. I did a big declutter earlier this year, but like after a few months, I noticed some products that I actually don't even touch for a long time. So I want to actually declutter some of these. So like these toners, they actually have pretty short shelf life. So let me see, these are expiring in April, which is pretty soon. I also want to get rid of these because these are single function products. So every one of these only have like one or two ingredients in it. Now I really strive for more like multifunctional products. Also, there are a few that I haven't touched. So like this one, like in the morning when I do my skincare routine, when I glance through them and I just don't feel like picking them up, those I kind of know I eventually need to let them go because they are just going to sit there collecting dust and I'm not going to use them. This is also expiring in April. So I'm also going to go through some of my makeup products and see if there's anything that I can let go of. Some of the cream blushes that I have, they seem to be drying out like after a while. I know that there are some that I can get rid of. Um, for example, like this LYS blush. Like after a while, it just kind of get dry out. It doesn't really give me that much pigment. So I want to get rid of these. Usually if they got pushed in the back and I just don't use it that much, there may be something that I'm going to get rid of. I think I'm also going to kind of rearrange and shovel them a little bit so that I can use them too. So like also these kind of cream blushes, for some reason after a while, they just dry out. I also haven't used this one since my last declutter, so I'm going to let this one go this time. I personally like to organize when I'm decluttering. So I'll pick out the ones that I'm going to let go and then I'll reorganize the rest of them right away. I kind of don't like leaving the whole mess everywhere and come back to organize them. It feels like it's going to take longer. So I'm just going to organize them really quickly when I declutter. If you're hearing a lot of windy sounds, it's because we have a winter storm going on outside. It's not even snowing that much, but it's just like really, really windy. So this time of the year is a great time to declutter the closet because I feel like right after Christmas is when they have more clearance sales. If you're thinking about getting new sweaters or getting things for the change of the season, I actually feel like having a deep decluttering of my closet in the springtime. I'll leave that to another video. I do notice there are certain items that I haven't touched or I have tried this winter that I just don't really like. So these are a couple of the items that I'm going to let go. This sweater, I actually bought it last year, but I realized the color really doesn't go on well with my skin tone. It's too warm for me. It's not really my color. So I'm going to let it go this time. 
and then also this sweater is also a little bit old what i don't like about this sweater is the sleeve is really really tight so when i wear it if i want to roll up my sleeve to do chores or stuff it's not convenient so i don't really feel like wearing this sweater so both of these i'm gonna let them go so i have all my socks and underwear and bras here i'm actually thinking about letting go of these thick socks you know it's funny because the other day when i go to work all my regular socks are in the dirty basket so i had to wear these thick socks but then they are so uncomfortable in my regular shoes i just realized i don't really wear them that much most of the time i still go for my regular socks so i'm gonna let these go i actually need to get another pack of my regular socks another thing i want to let go is this wash towel so these are like those makeup remover towels you can wet it and remove makeup this is kind of old and i haven't used it for a long time so i'm gonna let this go as well and i actually have another one in the third drawer so i'm gonna let this go but basically it's a shared bathroom because my kids take showers here as well so we have everyone's things in here so i want to look for things that i don't use anymore that are taking up cabinet space we have cabinets here we have towels here so here's what's interesting we have a bathtub here but we rarely use it i don't know i never really take baths so this bathtub is just here i am actually going to let go of this drying rack it used to be in my laundry room i changed my laundry room to become kind of like my cat room where my cat's litter box is there so i don't think it's a good idea to leave the drying rack there to dry clothes because the cat litter is kind of dusty so i moved it here but since i moved it here i really never used it so i think i'm gonna let this go this time i have to put this away this is the beauty bag that we used when we went to mexico and i was just i washed it and dried it so i'm gonna put this away my daughter does use these so i'm gonna keep these but the drying rack i'm actually gonna put it away in the basement for now and eventually we'll see if we are gonna use it I actually want to kind of clear out the drawer a little bit so that I can put some of the things in the drawer instead of on the counter. I'm actually going to get rid of these little hair ties. My daughter is now outgrowing little hair tie stage. So we all use regular bigger hair ties. So these we don't use anymore. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then I think these lip scrubs never use. I'm going to get rid of and this thing when we go on travel we actually use it to put hair oil cleansing oil in it i'm gonna take it downstairs to wash but these are all my daughter's things i'm also gonna go through the cabinets and see if there are things that we really don't use cabinets are where all the colors are collected it's invisible but at the same time we just shove things in the cabinet so it collects and collects so i want to get rid of the things that i don't really use for example like some of these masks i just put them here but we haven't used them for a long time so i'm gonna let these go i actually have a trash bag here so a lot of these things that we're not using i will actually put it in the trash i think we should give us permission to throw away things that are no longer fitting in our house i know some of us are very concerned about throwing things ended up in the landfill but if you think about it, the things that are already produced and existing somewhere on this planet, if it's not the landfill, it's your house. I always think of the things that we no longer use. It's taking up space in our home. So it doesn't really matter whether it goes to landfill or stay in your house. It's already existing. We should give ourselves permission to throw away the things that no longer fit our life. Use those as a lesson when we buy things in the future. Really think about whether we need them before we bring them to the house. But during decluttering, if it no longer fits your life, no longer fit the values in our family, it's okay to let them go. Obviously, there are things that can be donated or recycled. I try to recycle and donate as much as I can. But there are certain things you just cannot recycle them or you just cannot donate them then it's okay to let them go and just put them in the trash
you know, sometimes we put things in the cabinet and just think we're going to use it in the future, but we never do. The things that I'm decluttering now, if I haven't touched it in the past three months, I'm going to just let them go. Because at the end of the day, they are taking up space in our house. And sometimes we're just overthinking, right? We thought we're going to use it or we feel bad letting it go. But at the end of the day, and we're not recovering from that value anyways, if it's not serving us. When you couldn't decide whether to let go of something or not, just think about whether you have used them in the past three to six months. If you haven't, then chances are you don't really need that thing. You know, when I reorganize, I also try to put the same category of things together. It's easier to find where you want them to be. And also when you declutter, it's easier to decide if some of them you don't really need. So for example, like in my bottom cabinet here, I'm putting all the cleaning products together. So this last cabinet is all my hair products. So a lot of these like aerosol can products, I'm actually going to let them go. I haven't really used any like dry shampoos or hairsprays or things like that for a very long time. And a lot of the dry shampoos are now even like on recalls. So I'm going to let these go actually and I do have a few hair tools that I have here like I have a couple of flat irons, a couple of curlers not too crazy but I do have more than I need to use I'm actually going to leave it for next time but a lot of these hair products I'm actually going to let them go My home office is basically just this desk in the corner of my room. I don't have a separate office or actual room that's available for me to work. So this is the area where I will get up, get myself ready and just sit down here. If you have one, don't forget to regularly declutter because this is the area where we work 8 hours plus a day. It really affects our energy and our productivity. And since this is in my room as well, it definitely have a great impact on my energy level and on my stress level. So I have a very simple setup. I have my laptop, I have two screens and my keyboard and mouse. That's basically what's on my desk here. So I don't really have a lot of things. But as soon as things started piling up in this corner, it will look a lot more cluttered and I just, it give me so much stress. Now, I do want to say that one of the things that I find easily collects clutter is the drawer here. Okay, let's just go through this drawer together. It's a relatively small drawer, but you can see some clutters are already here. For example, this mouse that don't even work. Um, it's been here for a while, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. Um, I have a lot of random chargers here. I have my glasses here. I have a couple pens here, so the pens are fine. Um, this is a remote of my um, camera. I have this antenna here that we unplugged from my daughter's old computer. It's actually not even working, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I have a remote here. I think this is for a fan or something. Oh, this is for the Roomba vacuum. My Roomba is not even here, so I'm going to take it downstairs. A picture that my daughter drew me, I'm going to keep it here. Old credit cards, old batteries. I'm going to take these batteries downstairs to charge. So see, these little things that just clutters the space. This is more remote for my cameras. I don't know why I have so many of them. More chargers. So this is actually for my phone, so I can keep it here. Four charge heads. I don't know why they are all here. So I'm just going to keep one here, and then the rest of them, I'm going to take them downstairs. The thing is, because they're all new, like it come from somewhere. It feels wasteful to just throw it away, but then it's cluttering the space. You see what I mean? So I'm just going to keep one here. And then I'll take these down to see if somebody needs to use it. And I have a mic here that don't even work. I'm going to let go of this. Some of these random drawings from my daughter. Okay, so after some organization, this is after. 
And these are the things that I'm removing. Good morning. So today's day two, it's Saturday. Yesterday, I was only able to finish my room area and a little bit of my home office. So today we're coming back to my kitchen and living room and the garage and basement area. So I'm in the kitchen. I want to see if there's anything that I want to get rid of this time. Definitely need to check expired food in the fridge or in your pantry area. This is just expired. Some of these, I don't even have an expired day on here, but it's been here for a while. So I'm just going to throw this out as well. This is expired in October. I also like to throw away all these little packets of sauces. They usually, I don't know, they just sit in the corner of the fridge for a long time, gets really yucky and I don't know, I'm just gonna throw them out. I'm also gonna check my drawers here and see if there's anything that we haven't used for a while. I found a couple of these spatulas. They don't work very well. This one constantly falls on the floor when we just lay it on the side. And we have extras that we've been using more often than these. So I'm gonna let these go. I also have a set of these storage containers. Um, there are more lids than containers. So I don't know why, I don't know where they go, but I'm gonna let the lids go at least. Some of these older ones, I'm gonna put it on the side for now. These two that are here, they are a little bit old, but I'm gonna keep them for now. So I make food for my dogs and cats. So I do have a bunch of these old containers where I use them to store their food. And they are freezer friendly, so I'm gonna keep them. One of the things that I really wanna go through in the living room are my dog's toys. So we have a couple area where we have some of her toys. Some of them are getting kind of old. She doesn't even play with them anymore. So I'm actually gonna get rid of them and just keep a few that she likes regularly. Okay, in every house, there's a place where I call the dumpster bin. It could be a junk drawer for you. It's a place where we dump everything that we don't want to look at, don't want to deal with at the moment into that bin or that drawer. This is our dumpster bin. All the random small stuff, small toys, stationery, pencils, erasers, that kind of thing all go in here. So I'm going to go through it and see if there's anything that I can get rid of this time. Okay, we found a few things, small toys that we can get rid of. Uh, a couple of them are gonna go to the donation, some of them are going to garbage. We have a couple of closets in the living room area where we keep all the coats. I'm gonna see if there are any coats that I haven't worn for a while and maybe it's time to let them go. My husband actually have more coats than me, but he is not really great at letting things go yet. So I'm gonna start with my coat. Okay, so I have this coat that I bought many, many years ago when I was still pregnant with my younger daughter. Um, I bought it from Target. It's like a maternity coat. I've kept it until now. She's almost 10. It was in the basement for a while. So last time when I decluttered the basement, I found it and I thought I'm going to bring it up and see if I'm going to wear it. But then I realized it's actually not that comfortable. It's kind of heavy. So I'm actually ready to let it go this time. So I also have this coat that I bought from Arisia at least like five years ago. One time I accidentally washed it and put it in a dryer. So the hood here is all like messed up. 
Um, anyways, I've kept it thinking maybe fall I can still wear it, but I haven't actually touched it at all this year. So I'm debating. I actually really like beige green coats. I wonder if that's interest. Okay, so I think I think if I take off this messy fur thing, I can probably still wear it. It's actually pretty sturdy still. Um, it's warm too, like this false fur inside. It's actually pretty good, so I think I'm gonna keep it. What do you think? Let me know. I I really like this color, even though it looks a little bit old now. I actually really like this coat. What do you think? Should I keep it or should I not? I think I'm gonna take off that fur thing in the hood and then keep it for now. I still really can let this go for now. One of the hanger actually just fall off because the coat was a little bit heavy. So another thing to throw it away. We're in the garage. It's really cold today. There's a winter storm going on outside still. But it's more wind than snow but it's like freezing in the garage so the garage is another storage area that we keep things all our shoes are pretty much here so i'm gonna actually go through some of the shoes and see if there's any old shoes that i can get rid of i want to show you the other side here so on this side this is where we keep some of the older stuff like shoes for summertime, we'll put it in a proper box and store it over there. And when summer's here, we'll like kind of switch and put the winter shoes in that area. This whole chunk of stuff is all the stuff that I have decluttered last time plus this time. So they are still sitting here. I haven't had a chance to take it to the donation center. So this is something that I can clear off in the garage as well um yeah so this area is pretty much where we store things so we have some winter gear and tools here i did do a pretty good decluttering and organization just right around the beginning of fall so they are still pretty good so far but i want to go through some shoes so I have two pair of sandals that I'm letting go of this time. Um, we brought these to Mexico. They are very, very uncomfortable for some reason. It's been like a couple years old, but they are just not very comfortable, I found. And these are old. These are all like flat at the bottom already. So I'm gonna let these go. I also have a pair of Vans that I'm gonna let go. Um, I really like Vans shoes. I have a couple pairs, but like these are getting really old and yucky already and they're not very comfortable anymore. So I'm gonna let these go this time. Okay, so we're coming down the stairs to the basement. There's a small area here. Sometimes I put... Hi, OJ. Say hi. So we have a small area here where I just use it as a temporary storage. Things that may go in the kitchens, things may go in the basement. I haven't decided yet, so I sometimes keep them here just to see how it goes, you know. We have a bunch of lids here for containers for whatever reasons. They've been here for a long time, it's getting really dusty. I'm gonna let them go, recycle them this time. I also have a bunch of containers that I am been keeping here for a while and I'm ready to let them go. So these are small but they are kind of shallow so sometimes I just don't really have a use for it. I used to use it to store my cat's food but then I realized it's actually taking up more space than needed so I actually now only use the bigger kind of medium sized containers. So these I'm ready to let them go. I also have a bunch of like small forks and knives that I have put it here to see kind of test out if we really need so many forks and knives. So now it's proven that I, we don't really need it. So this time I'm going to let them go. 
One of the things that I find really helpful if you are overthinking and you can't decide whether you want to let things go or not, put them into a separate box in a separate area where you don't normally see. Just keep the things there for a couple months, two months, three months, it's up to you. But come back to it and look at the things inside and see if you actually have been looking for them. If you haven't been actively looking for them, it probably means you don't even need them, then you can let them go. So that's kind of a good way to test out the water before you commit to it, you know? Okay, now we're down at the basement. We mainly use the basement as a storage area. We don't really come down here to play or anything. Um, my husband does come down here to work out from time to time, but it's mainly our storage area. So there are anything that's in the kitchen that we don't normally use, but I'm not sure if I want to throw them away. I'll put them down here in the basement. Today's the good day to kind of go through them and see if there's anything that we haven't been using in the past few months. Okay, so far I only found this thing that I haven't used for a long time. So I'm gonna let this go. This is like a drying mat. I'm gonna bring it upstairs and see if I'm gonna use it. Another thing that's probably a good idea to throw away are old boxes. So we have a bunch of like old boxes and packaging papers and stuff that we keep for whatever reasons. They actually take up a lot of space. I'm gonna put them in the recycle this time. Okay, so that's all the decoloring that we need to do for the new year. I hope you like this video and get some good ideas and inspiration to declutter your house as well. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my declutter playlist. And thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you in the next video. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Just go, OJ. Okay.